Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics at the same time, also known as Loving My Angels. Um, today I would like to speak to you about a continuation of Manifesting Your Dreams, okay, from 2018. That was what I spoke about on New Year's Eve, going into New Year's, about us manifesting our dreams, okay? So the, I'm a little nasal today, so excuse me, but we're going to do this anyway. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about is um, writing out what we need to do to manifest our dreams. For some reason, when you write out what you want, it seems to penetrate the subconscious even faster. Everything that I have ever manifest, almost everything, I wrote it out. I mean, I'm a vision, I'm a visual person and a hearing person, but I wrote out everything. I wrote it out in affirmations. I wrote it out on a piece of paper and read it every day, twice a day, three times a day. But I did that all the time, okay? And I'm telling you to do that. Now, there's two ways, two ways of going about it, and I'm going to tell you what I did, and I'm going to tell you what else you can do. Um, I wrote out what I wanted. Now, you can use a piece of paper. You can use index papers. Um, you can get those from the dollar store. Um, they even have them in the dollar store for in, in colors, pink, blue, yellow, green. Whatever you're trying to do, you can match the color up with what you're trying to do. Like green um, index card for money, red for passion, yet yellow for inspiration, like that. So I'm always telling people to be very creative with what they're trying to do. Excuse me. Um, okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to write out in an affirmation form, like in the present tense, I have. Thank you, God. I do thank you, God, a lot. Thank you, God, for blessing me with this. Thank you, God, for helping me manifest this. Um, thank you, God, that I am this. Um, if you look on my vision board that I did the video um, the last time, you see on my vision board, it says, I am. And then it's a picture of me, and then there's a picture of everything that I want around me. Like, almost like I'm a magnet attracting everything to me. I tell people to be creative. Please, be creative. Um, make this fun. Be a child again. That's going to help you manifest your dreams. Not just doing something because you want it, and then, you know, there, there's no excitement or anything going in it. If you really want it, you're going to be excited to do it regardless to the point. Like, I'm doing this video. I work. So, but I still find time to come here and do this so I can get a kick off, you know, doing my video and at the same time helping other people. Now, getting back, what I want you to do, you're going to write it out. What you want in the present tense as an affirmation. Let's just say you want a job. Thank you, God. I have now, I now have my job. And then you can des um, describe your job. Or I am rich. Or I am successful. I am an entrepreneur. Whatever it is. But I want you not to write a book, but I want you to explain what you mean by what, what uh, by what you mean about the statement that you just made. Okay, don't just say I am rich. Be be a little more. Be a, that shouldn't really even be in there. It should be more of I am a I am a successful entrepreneur doing such and such and such. I have a lot of customers and this 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 this. That's what it should be about. Okay, and then from there you'll be rich, and then you can end it off. Uh, thank you God for now I am rich. But you made it very clear on what you wanted. Now, how it's going to come about, leave that up to God. Because God knows more than any of us. And he can see things in a different perspective than what we can see. Okay? And your higher self knows and your angels know. Everybody knows more than you. So don't put, um, don't put a, a, a chain on what you want and how you want it. Let God decide how it's going to work out. Now, you're going to write it down. Now, what I'm telling you to do is you need to read it three times a day. I tell people to read it before they go to bed, upon getting up, and sometime during the day. Now, if you're forgetful, like me, I'll do that sometimes and start running around and doing all different type of things and, and forget to do what I need to do. I tell people... 
set your um, smartphone. I mean, most people have smartphones these days or watches. Set your phone so that it beeps at the time when you want to read your affirmations. You can set it for 8 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, and then maybe 10 at night. Something like that. You know your schedule. And you're going to, you, you want to read your affirmations. Again, in the present tense, your own wording. I, I feel like you writing, you using your own wording works even better because it's coming from your heart. Okay? So you're going to write it three, you're going to write, you're going to write out what you want. You're going to state it three times before going to bed in the morning and sometime during the day. Now, why I say do it before going to bed is because that's the time where you're going into a different state. And at that time, your conscious is not blocking you as much because it's getting ready to go to sleep. And your subconscious, which never sleeps, is able to grasp what you're telling it to do. Almost like hypnosis, almost. And um, NLP is, is almost the same, okay? In the morning, you're nice and refreshed. You don't slept. And at the same time, your conscious is not fully awoken. It's not fully awake, okay? So it's, so it's not blocking you from getting that information in. And then sometime during the day, okay? Now, um, another way that you can do it is you can write it out three times. You can go, this is what I would do. Like I said, I'm very creative and I'm, I'm advising other people to do the same thing. You got to get a notebook and maybe have 100 pages in the notebook and or 80 pages. Now, 21 days, three times a day is 60, 63 times you're going to be writing. You need 63 pages. So you're going to write out what you want in the present tense as an affirmation every three times a day. So you're going to be using three sheets of paper every day. Now, listen, you're going to be doing this for 21 days because that's how long it takes for what you're saying to um, penetrate into the subconscious. On top of that, it takes 21 days for, the, for you to see a change in your life. So it's very important that you keep this up for the 21 days. Keep positive. Already know that everything is working out. Like, I'm doing this this month because I know next month my life is going to be like this. Think that way. Think like a child and be happy knowing that the impossible is coming. Because that's the way it is. It's not up to you. It's up to God how it works out. And that's it. And also, I always tell people to make sure it's for the benefit for everyone involved. You don't want to manifest something and then someone else, you hear bad news or something like that. So always for the best of everyone involved. So again, you're either going to write it and speak it three times. Or you're going to write it three times. And then you're going to do it for 21 days. You're writing affirmations or a statement in the present tense. And you're not going to doubt it or put any negativity in it. That's why I tell people to keep what you're writing to yourself. To be honest, keep your business to yourself. It's not that you're hiding from people, but you don't need other people's negativity penetrating your subconscious. Because I'm going to tell you right now, that negativity will reach your subconscious faster than, than your, your writing and your speaking and everything else. For some reason, somebody says something negative about what you're doing, it just it, it, it hits you and you start thinking about it. Am I doing something stupid? Before you know it, you done dissipated the whole thing that you were trying to do. So I tell people, don't tell people your business. Do what you got to do, and when things work out, then you tell people that you did it and this is how I did it, okay? So that's very important. Um, so again, this video is going to be small. It's going to be short, short, and it's just about getting everybody on track to do the things they need to do. Again, you can use index cards. You can use a notebook. Um, some people even make a photo album. You can even do a photo album and put stuff in there and, and, and look at it three times a day. Nothing but pictures, what you want, all pictures of what you want. And you just look at it three times a day. The thing is, whatever you want, you need to concentrate on it for three times a day. And that's going to get us where we need to go. And then the next thing is for 21 days. So don't even think about the 21 days. Say, I'm going to do this for a whole month. 
knowing next month changes are coming, okay? And like I said, if you don't see changes right away, don't worry. Don't start getting fearful. It's going, it's going to work, and you just need to give it a little time, please. Because once you start throwing that doubt and fear in there, it's almost like you're saying, it's just like you're saying God is not giving me whatever it is. And then for some reason, you don't get it, okay? So I'm keeping this video short. I just want us to be all on the same page, and we're going to make it for 2018. And I look forward to hearing your success stories as we move on. And thank you for watching my videos. Again, subscribe and um, like my videos. And I do have a website. It's um, uh, My World of Metaphysics. And I thank you. And oh, yeah, I do thank everyone for the comments, the nice compliments. And um, I thank you. I hope we can all grow. And five years from now, you guys will be like, you know, we'll all be family. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Okay, good night. And farewell. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, also loving my angels, saying good night. Bye.